and all that deal. And this cone drill right here, this is, a, this is a drill we do. We try to do this drill like two or three times a week. In the cone drill, all we're trying to emphasize, we're trying to teach these guys how to cut effectively, cut properly. All my drills, I emphasize the ability to always have maintain balance, power, and ability to redirect. Pause it right now. And all my drills, I always want to emphasize the ability to always maintain balance, power, and ability to redirect. And that's by having proper head and body alignment. Right now, his plant foot is slightly outside the framework of his body. He's, he's low to the ground, low center of gravity. He has great power right now. He has great balance. He also has great ability to change direction. In this drill, we don't want to overstride. We don't want to short and choppy steps. We want to try to run as naturally as possible. We want to be able to we want to be able to run with elusiveness. Elusiveness is not the shiftness. I'm not talking about being shifted. I'm talking about being able to cut without losing speed. In this offense, we got to be able to run the ball and make an effective cut without chopping our feet. So that's what we're trying to accomplish in this drill. Play. Also, we're working on switching the ball to every cone. I want to keep in the back of this guy's mind that we always want to drill. You know, I come up with this drill. Pause it. I come up with this drill, you know, it's extremely hard for those guys to do. Some of the guys, now everybody, you'll see three guys in this drill that actually doesn't. It's about eight of them right here because the rest of them couldn't do it. We always talk about being dynamic. We recruit guys that's dynamic. You guys are looking for guys that's dynamic. Dynamic guys in this offense get a lot of balls. And one of the things that, you know, these guys don't understand, they ask me all the time, Coach, why you say dynamic? What's dynamic? I tell those, my guys, dynamic is doing something I can't coach. This particular drill right here, this particular maneuver right here, I'm asking these guys to do that's extremely hard. What I'm asking these guys here to do is attack me and about a yard away from me, I'm gonna give them a direction. They gotta run flat along this line and be able to stick their foot in the ground and cut at a 90 degree angle without doing this. And it's an extremely hard drill, but if they could do it, you know, that, that's somewhat being dynamic. And three of the guys that do it are my most effective cutters. They're my most effective runners. The first guy here is my starting running back. I know you guys seen a couple of clips of him. He's a real dynamic kid. He has a bright future ahead of him if he can stay healthy. But it's a sharp cut. It's, I mean, that's dynamic to me. All right, come to balance. You know, on the come to balance there, we, zone is our best run play. You know, we do it all the time. We're pretty effective doing it. You know, on the come to balance now, a lot of times on the zone play, it won't hit right now. A lot of times those guys will take their step, they'll take their footwork, they'll press his line of scrimmage, it'll be a big cluster, and those guys have to exhibit a little amount of patience. They either go backside and find the hole, or they'll go front side to find the hole. Now, sometimes it could be just a little bit of patience, and it's gonna hit right now. Sometimes it could be quite a bit of patience, and then find it. Now, the only way I can get those guys to understand that, and to do that in the game, is if we practice it. So I came up with this particular drill. So what I'm saying right now is, this is the outside leg of the guard. We're going to take our open lead step. We're going to press the heels of the line of scrimmage. And when we come there, we want to come to balance. We want to stay square. Again, power, balance, and ability to redirect. Now, we don't want to come here and be in this position. We want to come to balance, and we're going to work, we're going to work either direction. I think right now we're going to work backwards. And what I'm saying right now, you shuffle over, shuffle over backwards till you find the hole and get north. Pull it up. Like I say, a lot of times, It'll hit right now. And one of the things to understand in all our run drills, every, all right, come to balance dynamic cut. Now, a lot of times on the uh, zone play, that cutback is there. And the only way for that cutback to be effective is if we take our proper footwork, we press his line of scrimmage, and we make that dynamic cut, stick our foot in the ground and hit it right now, as opposed to doing this. Because what happens on that zone, we read that backside defensive end, we're leaving free, and a good one, and wait, he tried to play the quarterback and the running back, and if it, the quarterback gives to the running back, he folds back. But if that running back makes a dynamic cut, again, he'll run through an arm tackle every time. Only way I get those guys to be able to do that, execute that maneuver in the game is if we work on the practice. So I want these guys here to press the heels of the line of scrimmage, outside leg of the guard, stick their foot in the ground, then again, once they get through the line of scrimmage, get north. You see all these guys here does a great job of pressing it, sticking their foot in the ground, eliminating the short and choppy steps. We want to eliminate the short and choppy steps. 